try as we might, in the secret world, not all mysteries can be solved. Perhaps it's too big. Or maybe it's too small. Or sometimes it's just too weird. Regardless, some questions are bound to remain unanswered. Hello, welcome to Questions. This is going to be a different sort of episode, and it's something I plan to do every once in a while, such as when I move to a new area. And definitely not because I'm falling behind and need a low-effort episode to catch up. <laughs> this is The Unanswered, a collection of questions that I just don't have the answers to, but I'd feel like I neglected something if I didn't at least bring them up. So maybe you can succeed where I failed. First up, the grave is behind Norma Creed's house. What is up with this? It wasn't in TSW, and I see from a gameplay perspective why they would want to add this, since it would mean you no longer have to go all the way up to the churchyard to find dry zombies. Still though, why is it here? What happened here? And why is there this champion called the Forgotten Fiend? The graves look weirdly fresh, too. I Did Norma Creed kill them? I don't think so, but there's no way she wouldn't at least know about it. Where did the ocean go? It took me an embarrassingly long time to even notice this one, but look at the high water marks, both from the pier and on the beach. All the floundering boats? This is lower than the lowest low tide. If this gets much lower, then there's just not going to be any water left. That can't be good for the draw, and not much better for the people either. Really, who took the time in the zombie apocalypse to go out and vandalize all the signs like this? No, seriously, how did this guy get up here? What the hell was that? I mean, I know it was a scrap golem, and I know that there's more of them later, but why was it here? To not get too far ahead of myself, this one does not follow any of the patterns that will soon be established for scrap golems. So why is it guarding this hardware store? Who even built it? What exactly was the dumpster diver after here? Is it this stuff? Is this Bingo Cola? Is this the color Bingo Cola is? And is this stuff the reason why the dumpster diver was so big? Who was Father Appleby? Okay, the Solomon death cults in general are something of a question mark for me, but Father Appleby in particular, I mean, he gets his own cave. Seems like he would be important. Okay, now this one... I'm sure there's an answer to it, and I think that answer might actually be relevant. But for the life of me, I cannot figure out what's going on here. Why were the Morning Light hippies firing off flares to sort of outline the bay here? I mean, that's what they're clearly doing, but why? Finally, it's a very nice effect and nice foreshadowing of things to come. But how did this Viking ship get here? How is it so preserved? Has it always been an Agartha portal, or is this new? Was this even just purpose built for an Agartha portal? So many questions. Thank you for watching this episode of Questions. It's a bit of a departure from normal, but I will be back to the regular format next week. This Tuesday's episode of Answers will answer none of these questions but rather point out interesting little details that otherwise wouldn't be incorporated into anything, and I just really wanted to point out. Feel free to discuss this in the comments, on Reddit, or in the Discord, and maybe you guys can figure some stuff out that I just couldn't. If you like this series, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that little bell icon. I'm also considering starting a Patreon, but more details on that will be forthcoming. And if you did not like this episode, actually just let me know. This was an experiment.